Hey guys, today I'm here to show you what I eat in a day and I'm just going to get my breakfast ready. It's about 10 a.m. Normally I eat around this time. So this is what I pretty much have for breakfast every morning. Lately I've been kind of getting bored of it, but I do want to get back on track and start eating it again. So I'll show you what I do. So I have my magic bullet, not sponsored, and I use just the larger one so i will be making like a smoothie shake type deal and i fill this with a little bit of ice so that's how much ice i normally put in and then i have my quick oats and I normally measure this three tablespoons, but there's not enough in the bag, so I'm just going to put it all in. After that, I use milk, and I do four tablespoons of milk. Now, I've kind of learned what order to do these in so that it mix as best as possible. So that's why I put the oats and the milk in first. And then I do one fairly level tablespoon of brown sugar. Then I use two bananas. And I try and use two small bananas, but if we only have large, then that's what I go with. Mommy! Yes. What are you doing? Oh, don't break it. It's for my hair. It is for your hair. Mommy. Well, it's for sister's hair. No. Yeah. She got one already. Oh, she's got one already? He got green. A green one? Yeah. And I just smush it down. And then I put, lastly, my coffee mixture. So this is what I use, the hazelnut instant coffee, and I really, really like it. I started off making this with just regular coffee, and then I saw this in the store, and I was like, oh my god, I have to try it. So now I'm obsessed. And I put one pretty big tablespoon of that, because it does have um, sugar a little bit in it already. And I put the coffee last because otherwise it gets to like stuck to the side of the glass and it's just annoying. So, so and then I put my lid on and I mix it up. I just tap it and then while I'm putting this away, I wait for it to kind of drain off the lid. And then, of course, you have to get every last little bit. All right, and there it is. It's so good. Um, if bananas don't agree with you, you probably can't do two bananas per day. And what I do is, if I don't have enough bananas to do it this way, I will add more oats instead of the bananas. And then, when I actually first started making this, I had a lot more oats and a lot more brown sugar and as time went on and as time I would have to lower my calories I would take things away so if this isn't enough for you for breakfast start out with a higher amount like I said more oats and more brown sugar if you don't like the taste or whatever and as time goes on lessen those amounts and you'll find that this is actually enough to fill you so it's the bananas that keep you full and the oats and then just obviously for flavor is the um the coffee and the brown sugar so yeah at first i think i used like a quarter cup of milk and now i'm down to four tablespoons so anyways that is what my breakfast is and i will check back in when i have a snack all right guys it is what time is it i think it's 12 30 and i'm going to have my snack now normally i have a 
piece of fruit and today I'm gonna have a pear. Um, we are at the property today so I brought it with me and we have to go home. I have some uh, cleaners coming to clean my couch so I have to go home and meet them there and Kyle's got to get ready for work but I'm gonna have my pear and I'll see you at lunchtime. an omelet for lunch today and I don't have any bread with it. I do use processed cheese which isn't the greatest for you but that's what I enjoy and won't eat an omelet without it so I figure it's better than having bread or something else unhealthy. So that's what I'm having lunch and the couch cleaner guy is here um, and I'm just going to continue reading on electrical. So. That is my lunch for today.
All right, so this is what we're having for dinner. Fajitas, one of our favorites. This is Kyle's for tomorrow night so that he has dinner because he works evenings. And this is mine, so it's one tortilla, 220 calories. Um, one chicken breast, which is usually like anywhere from 150 to 180, a little tiny bit of onion, uh, one full pepper by the time you add it all together, and the seasoning mix, um, that is roughly about 15 calories, and I put just a little touch spoonful of rice. And then, of course, I have to have salsa, and this is 10 calories per two tablespoons, and I usually use about a quarter cup. So that is what we're having for dinner. Oh, and dad doesn't like peppers or onions, so he that's why he gets the rice and mushrooms. Oh yeah, and I have roughly a cup of mushrooms. So I am out for my nightly walk. I've been going a lot lately, every night. One time dad came with me, and one time mom came with me, and I always take diesel. But anyways, that is what I ate for the day. Normally I have a second snack in between lunch and dinner, but we just got busy today and I didn't have one. So I normally have the Wheat Thins Multigrain Less Fat ones, and they're like 90 calories for 12 pieces. So I have those, but if I don't have my second snack, I'll save those calories for later on and have a bite of chocolate. Um, or something sweet and that's usually like the Brookside little pebbles. I got them for Christmas um, and they're like 50 calories for like five pieces or something. That's what I ate for today and I'll kind of insert a come on D, come on. We're basically to the end of the road so come on let's go. <laughs> so I'll try and insert a screenshot or a clip of what my calorie intake looked for the day looked like for the day um, I could input my walks but I feel like they're not long enough or I don't lose enough calories because of them so I just don't but yeah so I haven't been tracking my calories lately just because I know what I can eat and what I can't but I've lost 25 pounds and yeah uh, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.